welcome students to the black hole of exploring knowledge the analysis hole please like and subscribe my channel for further notifications to my upcoming videos thank you mark the, uh, note down this question key aspects of hind swaraj first point is dialogue format Hind Swaraj is presented in the form of a dialogue between the editor and the reader. So Hind Swaraj जो है dialogue form में लिखा हुआ गया है. तो ये ऐसे present किया किया है author ने जो गांधी जी ने खुद लिखा है कि जैसे वो reader और editor जो हैं एक दूसरे से बात कर रहे हैं. This unique format allows Gandhi to engage in a conversational exploration of his ideas. Creating an intimate and thought-provoking atmosphere. तो ऐसा लगता था उनकी हिंद स्वराज को पढ़ते हुए जैसे वो हमारे से बातचीत कर रहे हैं और अपने आइडियाज़ हमको सुना रहे हैं सेकेंड पॉइंट क्रिटिक ऑन मॉडर्न सिविलाइजेशन सेकेंड आस्पेक्ट क्या था हिंद स्वराज का क्रिटिक ऑन मॉडर्न सिविलाइजेशन सो वन ऑफ द Central themes in Gandhi's critique of modern Western civilization, he argues that the pursuit of material progress, industrialization, and technical advancements have led to moral decay, environmental degradation, and the erosion of human values. Third is vision of true civilization. Gandhi presents his vision of true civilization rooted in simplicity, self-reliance, and adherence to moral and spiritual values. He contrasts his this with the externally focused and materialistic nature of Western civilization, advocating for a return to cultural roots. Fourth point is means and ends. The book explores the philosophy of means and ends, emphasizing that the methods used to achieve a goal must be consistent with the desired end. Gandhi advocates for non-violence and truth, and the as the guiding principles in the pursuit of self-rule. Fifth concept of Swaraj, Gandhi's Gandhi goes beyond the conventional political understanding of Swaraj. Asserting that true self-rule encompasses political, economic, and social dimensions, it involves a decentralized, grassroots form of governance that empowers local communities and individuals. Next point is critique of Western political systems. So, is my critique in Gandhi's. Critics, Western style parliamentary systems and representative, representative democracy, proposing a more participatory and decentralized form of governance rooted in Indian tradition. Seventh aspect is emphasis on non cooperation. Hind Swaraj introduces the concept of non cooperation as a strategy for achieving self rule. Gandhi advocates for a principle to non-cooperation with unjust laws and oppressive systems as a means of resisting tyranny. Next point is spiritual basis. Throughout the book, there is a strong emphasis on the spiritual basis of Gandhi's philosophy. He believes that political and social transformation must be grounded in a deep connection. With one's inner self and commitment to moral and spiritual values, so Hind Swaraj remains a timeless and influential work, offering proud insights into Gandhi's philosophy and providing readers with a road map for individual and societal transformation. It challenges conventional notions of progress and invites contemplation on the deeper meaning of freedom. self rule and the pursuit of a just and harmonious society so note down this answer in your notebook the key aspects of hind swaraj